It's Sean Lamb here for Streaming Media Producer at Anime 2017. I'm here with Bryce at the AJA booth, and yep. we're going to be talking about the Key Pro Ultra and the new Key Pro Ultra Plus. So what's yes. new? Well, the Key Pro Ultra Plus is a pretty great addition to the Key Pro family. The Key Pro family is a family of players and recorders. Uh, originally started with ProRes encoding. Uh, the Key Pro Ultras are today capable of doing ProRes. Uh, as well as uh, Avid DNX uh, HD MXF, uh, which is the native file format. And so the original Keeper Ultra was designed to be a 4K Ultra HD 2K HD player and recorder. Uh, and the Plus, of course, continues that. But it adds a great, great new option, and that's the ability to do multi channel HD recording. So this is four independent. HD inputs yes. that the user can switch between as yes. if it was a production video switcher. Well, no, you can record all four at once. Okay. So you you're basically can plug in a, four separate cameras. Uh, it can be 1920 or, or uh, by 1080 or uh, 720, which is fairly popular for Fox, for instance. Um, but it's they just need to be the same raster size and frame rate. Uh, and then you're recording four separate ProRes files, one for each camera. So you could go that route, which means you literally are plugging three, four cameras in that you have. You can go one, two, four. Uh, or you could say, okay, I've got a single camera, but I want different file compressions. Okay. So what we, you know, different profiles. So you could do ProRes 444, or you could do proxy for the second file, or you could do uh, you know, the third version again might be a standard ProRes. So it's up to you. And you'll see it right here in the interface. We've got the uh, GUI or the GUI, and on the screen, all four are coming in at once. We're feeding this four different sources. Um, when you set up your original configuration, uh, obviously, if you're in the original Keep Your Ultra, you'd be seeing a single channel only. Here, you have the ability to come to multi channel. You could tell it exactly how many channels you want, because if you're only plugged into two cameras, no point in wasting the hard drive space. Or well, it's not hard drive because it's SSDs. Um, doing four channels here. As you can see within the interface, this is literally being fed off of the Key Pro Ultra. So that's another secret about these wonderful devices is that we have full-blown Linux-based operating systems with a web server. So this is feeding you the live feed that you're seeing up on the screen. Uh, when I come to status here, I can see, well, I had sent it to 9020 by 1080, in fact, all the way up to 5994. That's pretty stunning. You know, you're talking fairly high frame rate here on all these channels. How does it connect to the laptop? So to connect to the laptop, you literally plug in an Ethernet cable. And once you've done that, you can see it's just an IP address up here, knowing the IP address of your unit, and you can always set that under configuration and network. So, very simple. Here you've set it to a static IP address. And once you hit return, you know, it just brings up your interface. Refresh it. There it goes. So this works on any operating system because it's not Correct. dependent on a single operating system. Correct. And that was the point, is we wanted to make sure, no matter what happens, you can be on any operating system, any web browser. We're not going to stop you from having access to your ability to control this. Uh, what's great is that on the outputs, which are always live when you're recording, you could have an HDMI output showing the four. Uh, you might choose to switch. You're still recording all four, but you can say, hey, I want to look at the second one full screen. I'm worried about this in my composition or whatever it is. Um, so very pragmatic. And I think the other thing that's great is it's got full-blown HDMI 2.0 support. And that's wonderful because you can come from a more reasonably priced camera, right? Might be 4K capable. Yes. And you can get all the way up to 12 bit off that HDMI input and record to the Keypro Ultra Plus. Okay. In terms of the workflow, the recording is done on, on the same types of drive systems that you've been using in the past in this yes. family line. Yes. Um, what are some of the safety features built in? I mean, four inputs going into one device. What happens if we lose power? Yes. You might be neurotic about it, and I, I could understand that. So uh, we introduced something earlier this uh, last year, uh, towards the end of the year, called uh, Key Protect. Uh, let's say the power goes, or someone does yank, right? Which you can do. 
uh, it will have everything other than the last few frames. So as it goes, the header files are being rewritten it's to ensure that if all goes to crap, as they say in uh, English, yes. <laughs> then you will actually recover. That's a and huge feature, because I remember once the end of my production happened, I didn't hit stop, but the power engineer turned off the power to our setup yep. there before we were done. Yes. Um, and so this would give me the ability then to recover those files. Yeah, well, and this is key, because obviously we realize that people are sticking in four cameras, they're not going to be particularly happy if this doesn't you know, work. Power goes out, you're living in a country where they power cycle. Gosh knows, there's a thousand things that can happen. Uh, so that's going to protect you. And I, and I think the addition of having XQ support in this process as well, which is just beautiful if you're doing green screens. So, you know, for a lot of folks that are going to do streaming projects and so on, the ability to shoot against green screen and know you're going to get a really nice green screen out of it once you edit and throw the project out is key. What about synchronization? How are these four independent signals in that workflow, how are they synchronized? So the way it works is you want to be plugged into the first SDI port first and then add. So you can have one, you know, one through four, so you can have just two or three or four. Uh, once you've got that first signal in, from there as you start recording, you're fine. It's locking up to that. Now you might go, well, what happens if someone now trips over the cable going into SDI-1? Am I in trouble? No. At that point, it's already locked within the system and the rest will keep recording. Okay. Uh, can you tell us about the price point and availability of both this product and the regular Key Pro? Yes. So the Key Pro Ultra, yep, we recently reduced to $29.95. So it's a really good price for a 4K recorder, absolutely fantastic quality, uh, HD, uh, all the way through 4K. Uh, the Key Pro Ultra Plus is going to be available for $39.95 which is working out to less than a thousand per HD channel. It's a great way to look at it. And you know, if you put this in a rack, this is designed so it can go into a rack, you can have two of them together. That would give you eight channels of video in a 2RU space. It also gives you, because we support 16 channels of audio per SDI stream embedded, you're getting up to 128 channels of audio within 2RU as well, if you need it. So we think you have you covered, you know, for a fair range of workflows here. When you have a look at the business end of the Key Pro Ultra Plus, one of the neat features is that it has four SDI inputs as well as loop throughs for four SDI outputs. Uh, you also have four SDI fiber inputs. So AJA has products to convert your signals from HDMI or SDI to fiber, and it can go directly into the Key Pro Ultra Plus. Thanks yeah. a lot, Bryce. Thanks again. This has been a look at the AJA products here at NAV 2017. I'm Sean Lamb for Streaming Media Producer.